It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at Talking Stick Resort Arena in downtown Phoenix. Tonight, it's the Phoenix Suns taking on the Dallas Mavericks. The Suns win the opening tip. They'll have it first as we get going in the desert. Booker. Slam dunk, DeAndre Ayton. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. To Luka Doncic. Green coming. Doncic to Monroe. And look out. Big finish at the rim. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. Booker with it. He'll run the offense. To Kelly Oubre. Shot from in close. No good. Doncic tosses. Now oh, the Suns come up with the steal. It's early. Get a good quality shot here. Look out. Devin Booker missed his first. That one goes. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Mavericks with the possession. To Porzingis. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage into the front court it's Booker looking to make something happen to Kelly Oubre from the painted area won't go down Porzingis to Luka Doncic watch the cutter watch the cutter man Can't connect from in close. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you're forcing to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're gonna lower the chances of them making that shot. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. Mm-hmm, we call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Look out, Devin Booker. Two for three now here in the first. There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable, and almost the physicality of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. It's Phoenix ball. Rubio to Booker. Nothing going here on that drive. Booker. Good look that time, but off the mark. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. Barea defended by the lefty Ubre. Beyond the arc for three. Luka Doncic, marked man, shot altered and no good. Shooter shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Oh, like that. Chris stops Porzingis, pins it. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Shot from the lane, won't go. Suns with the basketball, Rubio. To Booker. Surveys the floor. Here's Booker on the drive, but a shot misses. To 
to Monroe. Trying to cash in. The big guy, Greg Monroe. Three for three. That's a perfect start. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Now whistle and a timeout for Phoenix as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point ball game. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Rubio to Booker. Doesn't get the bounce. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Brunson. To Lee. Deep right corner. Here comes the screen. Step back. No doubt about where that one was headed. Phoenix got ball, got has ball. the ball Pick to Mikhail Bridges. I got ball. I got ball. That's me. To Booker. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Tie ball game so far. Neither one of these teams really able to pull ahead. Might be time to put the bench players in the game and let's see who could differentiate themselves. Here comes the screen to Lee. Whoa! Gets to the rim and they'll count the basket. Two steps or five steps. I don't know, Jay. It looked good. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine, and you call it a day. Brunson. To Hardaway. Navigating through traffic. Tim Hardaway Jr. Two for two. That's what you want. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the I defender did it. Here's Rubio into the front court. They trail by two. Here comes the screen. Booker. Suns with four to shoot. Booker shot, no good. Lee with the basketball. Shot clock turned off as they get a chance to build their lead. Fires the three, buries it on the catch and shoot. I don't know how he saw his man out and cut like that, but that was nice. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, it's good, at the buzzer, and he just managed to get it off before the horn. That gives them the lead after a back and forth opening quarter.
One quarter in the books. This has the potential to be a good one. Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they wanted to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. Screen coming left. Screen coming. Screen coming. Brunson to Seth Curry. Dallas with four to shoot. Not that time. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. Watch cut, watch cut. No good. No daylight. Great defense. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Brunson to Hardaway. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Lee. Well defended, but big basket there for Courtney Lee. As a defender, you should take it personally when a contested three goes in. That's good defense, but it's not good enough. To Mikhail Bridges. to Crawford. Five on the shot clock for Phoenix. Doesn't have the touch, no good. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. Crawford to Mikhail Bridges. Shot clock winding down. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. That's good D. Shot no good. Defense. Defense, let's go. Here comes the screen. Brunson. A pass stolen by Phoenix. Down the lane to lay it in. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Now a whistle. Dallas will use the timeout as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point basketball game. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Number three, Lee to Porzingis. Number six. Hardaway to Lee. Now the Suns come up with the steal. Oubre to Crawford. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. There you go. I like seeing his scoring coming from unlikely sources. Lee to Seth Curry. Lee, down low for Powell. Oh, emphatic slam. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. 
you essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Porzingis with the rebound. A pass stolen by Phoenix. Great dish to set it up. Jamal Crawford, 2 of 4 now. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. Lee to Hardaway. To Porzingis. Has a chance. Knocks it down. Off the step back. And this is what makes Porzingis so dangerous. He's got that length and those jump shots That's just like man. Kevin Durant, but he's way over seven feet tall, and he's got that feathery touchdown low. Still want to see his game get a little bit more expanded with his low post moves. Here comes the screen to Hardaway. Goes to the left side. Porzingis to Seth Curry. Has a look. Curry shot, no good. The most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot. The defense is always going to give great effort, but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not. Crawford. And it's Curry who grabs the board. Lee with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Oh, Courtney Lee. That's three now on four shots. Now the Suns going to signal for a timeout as they'll take a moment to go over things here in the second quarter. Changes coming from both sides right now. Booker. From the painted area, won't go down. Here's Berea. Two-point advantage. Now oh, the Suns come up with the steal. And scores. Strong take. Here's Berea, looking to make something happen. To Porzingis. KP, Chris stops Porzingis. Oh, the defense has to adjust. He's four for four to start this one. Suns control the possession. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Suns. Here's Berea. Lead is two. To Porzingis. Nothing going here on that drive. Runner here won't go. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Nothing going here on that drive. Doncic to Porzingis. The shot almost. 
Booker Wicket, all time as we march towards halftime. Look out, Devin Booker, four out of 10. If you're coaching against this player, you have to throw some fake traps, some fake schemes. How are you making this player think instead of just naturally react? Here comes the screen. Off the assist. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. I got him. I got ball. I got ball. Here we go. My ball. My ball. Trying to cash in, and he scores on the step back. Deep three at the buzzer. Time expires to end the first half. The Suns have the lead. The Suns are in a tight battle after two quarters. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading. The Mavericks aren't down by much after two quarters. And even though they don't have the lead, they're doing a great job of moving the ball around. They might find themselves on the winning end of the scoreboard if they could keep it up. Have a look at the leading scores for the Dallas Mavericks. Game track. Bench points. The coaches are getting the kind of bench production that can make for some interesting rotations. Keep an eye on the substitution patterns in the second half. Player of the half. Devin Booker has the defense figured out, and his shots are falling for him. That's a lethal combination that will be hard to overcome. Who was cold? Forget cold. This guy will be happy to be lukewarm at this point. He can't seem to get anything going. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. The Suns. And with that, I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game. Dallas with the possession to Monroe. The big guy, Greg Monroe. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Rubio into the front court. Tie game, third quarter. To Booker. Nothing going here on that drive. Won't go down. To Luka Doncic. Porzingis. Short jumper stays out. Tough mate through traffic. I was expecting the dish there, but way to fake that one and lay that one in. Into the front court, it's Booker. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. To Rubio. Here comes the screen. Rubio. 
slam dunk, DeAndre Ayton. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Dallas has it. To Monroe. He throws it down. And no emotion, just that ice-cold stare. That's a sign of somebody who's here to compete. Hooker with it. His group now down two. DeAndre Ayton to Rubio. Pass stolen by the Mavericks. Lee. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. J.J. Barea trying to cash in on a three-point play for his career, 79% at the line. Free throw good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. Rubio. Curling inside, stuffs it down with authority. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back Get a tub of popcorn and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. To Porzingis. Lee goes to the right side. Has a chance. Almost, but no good. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. That's rebounded by the Mavericks. Doncic to Lee. Able to convert inside. And the true test of a team's character is how they respond when they get hit in the mouth. Keep digging. Here's Rubio up top. The deficit now up to five. Here comes the screen. Rubio. Scores from the post. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Here comes the screen. Monroe to Lee. Shot from the lane, won't go. Another follow, no good. Here's Rubio into the front court. His guy's down three. Oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Oh, Courtney Lee, four out of seven. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, up, goes match through. Up, match up. Rubio. DeAndre Ayton to Kelly Oubre. Five to shoot. Rubio. It's no good. Shots not going down. Porzingis to Lee. Down low to Monroe. Perfect feed to set up the basket. Now the Suns coach going to signal for a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter.
Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Oh, good defense there as the Mavs take it away. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. A pass stolen by Phoenix. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. Now oh, the Suns come up with the steal. Oubre. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. Hey, lock up, lock up. To Hardaway. Baseline drive, but he can't finish. Count the bucket for two. And when the ball gets the defense rotating from side to side, you're bound to find opportunities for each other. Dallas owns the basketball. To Porzingis. Probing the defense. Tim Hardaway Jr. looking good. Four for five. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Pass stolen by the Mavericks. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Porzingis for two, and scores on the step back. Unguardable Jay. Did you see the distance between him and the defender? You could pretty much put a department store between the two. Prices coming down. Booker. And he's fouled. He's going to the line for two. And as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. DeAndre Ayton at the line. He connects on the first free throw. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Brunson goes to the left side to Brunson. Hardaway. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, and the rebound's taken in by Phoenix. Three quarters down, the Mavericks have the lead. It'll be Suns basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. And that third quarter was one to forget. Remember, Jay, they led at the break. And now they find themselves on the wrong side of the score. Yeah, but this game is about next play. If you spend too much time worried about what was, you can't focus on what is. Put that quarter behind you and focus on the task at hand. Brunson. Phoenix with it. Mikhail Bridges with the strong finish. Ah, and that transition offense was flawless. When guys fan out and actually fill the lanes with a sense of urgency, you heard me correctly, a sense of urgency, you will get a great shot every possession. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there.
The free throw, perfect. And the lead is up to seven. It's Sun's ball. Rubio to Crawford. Rubio. Powell with the rebound. Porzingis, a pass stolen by Phoenix. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Slams it down. You know, teams usually shoot higher percentages early in the shot clock. Plus, you take away the legs of the defense. You have to dictate the pace. Gets it in the left corner. Lee to Porzingis. Rubio into the front court. Five-point game. To Crawford. And the rebound comes down to Dallas. Brunson to Porzingis. And the rebound, corralled by Crawford. Has a look. And the rebound belongs to the Mavericks. Brunson to Porzingis. Great pass, setting up the basket. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. Ricky Rubio at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 83% free throw shooter. Free throw is good to finish off the three-point play. That slices the lead down to four. It's the Mavericks right now at the controls. Take stock of the floor. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Suns. They're going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. Brunson to Luka Doncic. Five on the shot clock. For three. Luka Doncic, marked man. Shot altered and no good. Crawford to Booker. Crawford over to the right side. And the reward, he's going to the line. This drives me nuts when I see fouls like that being called in a close game. Sometimes you just got to let them play, ref. Devin Booker has got two shots coming. A career 84% free throw shooter. First free throw is good. Able to convert on both free throws. Mavericks with the basketball. Doncic to right. To Lee. Right, 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 right. Trying to cash in. Oh, Courtney Lee. With that shot, he's five for eight. 
The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost him. Crawford to Booker. Here's the step back. Look at that. Calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys watch those. Nice extra move there. Lee to Luka Doncic. A drive to the basket, but it somehow stays out. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you force them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Doncic to right. The screen sets him up for two. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there, considering the score. Now whistle. We'll get a timeout from Phoenix as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point basketball game. And I've been seeing a lot of barking back and forth between the players and the fans. I actually like that. I think that gets the players more engaged in the game, in particular sometimes when the game seems like it's dead air. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Rubio. Hey, clear out. I got this. And it's Monroe with the rebound. Mavericks with the possession. Porzingis. To Kelly Oubre. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go. Lee with the basketball. Leads a bucket. to Porzingis. Able to convert inside. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Hey, hey. Booker to Kelly Oubre. The Suns with four to shoot. A fundamental shot right there. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Dallas with the possession. Lee to Monroe. Scores from the post. Into the front court. It's Booker. His guys trail now by four. Here comes the screen. Ubre to Rubio. To Booker. Five on the shot clock for Phoenix. Booker to Kelly Ubre. Let's it fly from long range. Kelly Ubre is going to get three shots here for his career, 78% at the line. First one goes down. Missed the middle one. One more coming. The 
can't take advantage. One for three at the line. Lee with the basketball. Defense. Leads three. Defense. Let's go. To Luka Doncic. Here comes the screen. Kelly Oubre oh, tips it. Nice pass to get things going. He won't get away with this one. Referee calls it intentional. Some players are built to handle these moments. On one end, you just sparked your team. And at the same time, you also got under your opponent's skin. Just want to manage through the emotions here and not take it too far. And fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. The victory to the Mavericks as they win a close one by two. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Mavericks won this game after a close finish. I could get into detail about their play calling and shot selection, but let's be honest. We all know that the dunks were the most exciting. I'd be surprised if the rim isn't a little bit bent at this point. The Suns lost a tight one today. And you can see the disappointment. When a team goes back and review the film, Coach will probably find areas of improvement. But one thing he can't say is they should have shot better. They did a great job of scoring in this game. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Phoenix Suns. Game track. Field goals. From an offensive standpoint, this was a quality game. The same can't be said for the defense, but still, it turned out to be an entertaining matchup. Player of the game. Lee could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. We had picked them for you. Here are the top plays. Number two. Number one. Here's what's coming up for the Phoenix Suns. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.